13 from three-point line. We've seen him when he's had stretches, Kevin, when he's so confident. Ayala from three, barely ripping the net for Eric Ayala. The ballpark. There's Cowan trying to answer from deep. He can't get that to go. The rebound popped out of the hands, deflected off the arm of Morcel, still loose on the floor, and Cowan able to scramble and get it to Morcel, driving against Roby for two. Slide against Smith. Fernando comes over to help. Good help from Fernando with a rebound to the big man for Merrill. Good job by Roby. Be a little bit more selfish. And there's Roby on the other end. Let's it up. There's Thomas Allen. This Nebraska team trying to remake themselves. The loss of Isaac Copeland. They're doing a pretty good job here in the first half. There's two for Thomas Allen in Nebraska with a five-point edge. A Kenton backing it out to Roby. Throws it back over to Thorbjörn Arson. Wrap-around pass to Roby for the hook. Wow. Adjustments are going to be of a similar size. A Kenton trying the three. That won't go. Roby in there to knock it away, but Ayala comes up with it for Maryland. And now the push ahead to Smith. And Smith with a one-hand throwdown. 9-0 run for Maryland. They have not hit a field goal in almost three minutes. As Smith trying to change that, left it short. Smith got it back and put it in. He is so long. Watson Jr. now, he's not even on balance when he's going up for his jump shot. Oh, what a wild shot. Shot clock winding down, but there's Lindo for the offensive rebound of the putback. I tell you what, the Nebraska's done a fine job on Anthony Cowan Jr. here in the first half. He's really been non-existent. He's not even looking for his shot right now. Wiggins looks for and finds his, though, from three. Maryland's been really impressive with keeping this crowd out of the game. Palmer getting to the rim in his first field goal, and Nebraska's first. Watson. Nowhere to go. Three to shoot. Watson forcing it up. Blocked by Fernando. And Maryland will throw it to the other end of the floor. Halftime here. There's two guys who can fill it up quickly. Six to shoot. Ayala with the step back. Three, and it falls. Eric Ayala is so smooth. You know, if you're in Nebraska, let's see what he can bring you. Here's Palmer back out to Roby for the open three. That's nice inside-out action that you need to bolster your tournament resume. And Palmer trying to get that into a quad one win category. Gets to the rim, and the Huskers on a 9-0 run to close to within two. And quiet, just two points on one of five shooting. Back over to Wiggins for the deep three, and that's a big answer from the freshman. Way off, and Wiggins with the rebound. Glenn Watson, Jr., continuing to struggle. 0 for 8 to Smith. Holds that one home. The rim's still rocking. Seven minutes into this second half, and Maryland has reasserted its control. Up eight, and then Fernando plowing his way to the basket, knocking Borkart down, and Tim Miles is livid. Maryland's starting to really flex its muscle on the glass, two up 11 in the rebounding department. Cowan back to Smith. He can hit that. And he does. And move Fernando, nothing there. Palmer off the ball fake. He'll drive it in, reject it, and going the other way. Cowan leading the field, but then Watson able to scramble back and get the basketball. Smith unable to get that one to fall. Roby the rebound. That's a great picture you painted, Kevin. Plus, oh. Roby throwing it down. Can that ignite the Huskers? Just didn't get the shot to drop, but he did a good job avoiding the charge because Maryland was set up defensively to take it. Oh, nice big the little game there as Smith finds Cowan. I've never seen it. I, I, I just keep taking my ear, ear uh, headphones off, and I can't believe. And that will not help the mood of the crowd as Sorrell Smith. You get a stop. You, get, you hit... <clears throat> Excuse me, hit a bucket. Oh, Thanks for that. With the swath, that'll go out of bounds. Well, it was 20 just a couple of minutes ago, so now down to 15 of the year. But, you know, when your son comes to town coaching the Terrapins, it's get the turf gear out. That's right. And, you know, everybody understands that. There's Roby to the rim. Huskers trying to avoid matching or getting their worst performance of the season offensively is Fernando. It's two more. It was Mitchell, the last Terrapin, to have 18 boards back in 2014. Kenton can't get it to go. There's rebound number 19. The Huskers are going to lose their sixth straight. Big road win for the Maryland Terrapins. Now 18 and 6 and 9.